This is a test of the WaveTech analyzer. This is my setup. Minus 10 dB, minus 20 dB, 15 volt power supply is down there. Minus 30 dB. Input, output, input from there. 0 dB at 10 megahertz. Output to this antiquated 1984 signal generator. And with the play on, we've got roughly minus 0.4 dB. Um, the losses and cables are a bit spots and it's not overly accurate this equipment at the moment. So let's right, we'll disconnect the minus 10 dB. As you can see, we're 10 dB lower. Let's go back, put the 10 dB back on, disconnect the 20 dB, and now we're 20 dB lower. Put that back on. Disconnect the minus 30 dB. And now uh, minus 30 dB. Okay, now we'll switch off the power supply. So we're effectively disconnecting the 15 volts. And now uh, we're at the minus 60 dB. This is for 10 megahertz. Uh, if we now jump up to uh, one gig, so one, two, three, frequency, one, two, three, four, megahertz, change the span, one here, start frequency of nine, nine, five, meg, stop. One point zero zero five gig. There we go. Have a rest of insertion. So we'll repeat the exercise. Put the pass fly back on. Put that back on. Just looking at the results there. Okay. So. I do, I am showing uh, a minus 4 dB and 1 gig, but well, I think that's down to my leads. Um, not particularly good setup, what a, a messy to be honest. So let's repeat that experiment again. I'm just going to stabilise a bit better now. It's now down to minus 1.6, that's better. Okay, let's repeat the experiment. So, remove that one, it's minus 10 dB. And we're now showing minus 11.6, which is about right. Okay, sorry about this, it would be boring, but it's just proving a point that if you've got one of these, don't spend $200 replacing it, fix it. Not fix it for it more, but actually we can place it there, clear right back on. Okay, now we're showing minus 21.9, which is right. Put that back. Take the minus 30 dB off. Uh, and I'm now showing minus 31.6, which is correct. Uh, put that back on. Turn off the power supply and I'm now showing minus 61.4. So I would hazard a guess that it's not that's fine. It's actually been taken out of a HP 059 now. I'll just do a, a repair on it. Um, 
Seems to have a few calibration errors, so I just wanted to check a few things. Um, as I say, and that's basically what you should expect. Um, there is a 75 ohm version of this, um, which works in exactly the same way. Um, there's probably a few versions really, but um, the version I've got is the 50 ohm, obviously for the scope that I've got. Um, and so I'm just working through a few repairs with this old equipment, but it's still serving a function. Um, hope this is helping if you've got a programmable attenuator of WaveTech. Um, might help you uh, actually understand, right, because they're almost impossible to open up. And the cheapest I've seen a second hand one for on eBay is uh, about £150 or nearly $200. So um, it's probably worth checking before you do anything with it. Um, hope that helps anyway.